Hello, YouTube. This Skip. Coming to you live. Straight out of Real Six Aquatic Kennels. Happy Monday, everyone. Today, I want to make a short video explaining why I believe that we should have breed standards and pedigrees as breeders, as responsible breeders in this aquatic community. Just past weekend, I had a gentleman, I don't mention names or anything like that, on Team Midas expressed to me his thoughts and feelings on a fish that he purchased or he got from a certain um, place or location. And the fish has the potential to be a Midas, but it also slightly looks like an Amphilopus labianum's red devil. It has a little of both traits. I would say, after reviewing it, pictures and videos of the fish, it has more Midas traits than labianum's red devil traits. But the problem is the uncertainty. It's not the fish. It's not the fish's fault. Throughout the years, the labianum's red devil and centronellum's Midas have been hybridized. And I mean... People unknowingly have been hybridizing them just based on the facts of their genetic similarities. Although, in my opinion, the Labianum's Red Devil is far on the opposite side of the spectrum than the Midas, in my opinion. They're the total opposites. Labianum's Red Devil, long sleep. Slender body, huge lips, predatory eyes, pointed face. You can see they were built to catch fast prey, and they were genetically created to catch crustaceans and crevices that most fish, especially the Midas, couldn't reach. The Midas, on the other hand, thick, stocky, rounded build, flat face and nose area. But when they're young, they look very, very similar. Because as they're young, the, the Labianus Red Devil looks like it's supposed to, but Midas, on the other hand, some Midas can look very much like a Labanus Red Devil because they have yet to mature to where their body fill out, their facial area fill out, to show you those Midas traits. So like I said, I'm going to keep this short. I believe that there should be breed standards and there should be things like this. This is Mancho's pedigree. certificate one of the first of its kind matter of fact I'm the only one that has pedigree certificates on my fish so you guys get a better look let me turn on the light sorry but this is a pedigree there's Macho's name, male, his parents, his grandparents, his great-grandparents, his batch number, his breed, transfer ownership. Just in case I decided to sell this fish, I could sign over the transfer ownership of this pedigree to the person who purchased this fish. That's what I mean, people. 
there has to be someone like myself to raise the bar in this aquatic community so that we all can raise our standards. And with that said, this skip.